It is being called the biggest scientific breakthrough in decades. It could change really our entire understanding of the universe. As a layman, I would now say, I think we have it. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Scientists at CERN have announced the discovery with 99.999% certainty that the Higgs boson does exist, the so-called God particle. This particle is seen as the key to how matter formed after the Big Bang more than 13 billion years ago. They call it Mission 26. It flew 25 times in, in space. This will be its 26th mission. And the final journey for the space shuttle Endeavour. These pictures, you just can't get enough of them, right? The piggybacking of these remarkable aircraft. Just an amazing trip that this, uh, this craft is going to make, leaving Florida and heading for Los Angeles, uh, where it's going to end up on display at the California Science Center. Here's the controversy. They have, to, they have to tow it 13 miles over the course of about a day and a half uh, to get it to the California Science Center. And they had to cut down a couple of hundred trees along the way. They don't think anything like this will ever happen again, and they are probably right. Today, NASA and all of us will say a final goodbye to the first man to walk on the moon. He was an American hero and a space pioneer. Neil Armstrong has died at the age of 82. It was courage, grace, and humility he displayed throughout his life that lifted him above the stars. And there is something very different about the Apollo 11 patch than any of the other mission patches. There are no names on it of the astronauts. It's the only one. And that was because Neil always felt that the accomplishment was not his accomplishment. It was the accomplishment of everyone involved in the Apollo program. He once joked, quote, I am and ever will be a white Sox pocket protector, nerdy engineer. He was, of course, much, much more than that. He was also a husband and father of two and a man who left his footprint forever on the U.S. space program. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Two, one, main engine start, zero and lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. See clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. This was the last of the big picture missions to Mars that's on the table. looks like, especially when you spent years of your life working on a project. The engineers and scientists had pulled it off, a series of never before attempted Martian atmospheric acrobatics ended with the rover Curiosity safely and all in one piece on the surface. Almost immediately, the rover phoned home, sending back images. Look, I'm here. The first images we saw from the Mars rover Curiosity were only in black and white. But now Curiosity has gone all color on us. It's beaming back color pictures of the planet's surface. And each day, new images better than the last. NASA's Mars rover Curiosity has been sitting on the red planet for more than two weeks now, getting ready to try out its wheels. And today is the day to take it for a little red planet spin. They will be out looking for the building blocks of life carbon, water, methane gas. They can't detect life itself, but with this rover, they can take get us one step closer to answering that question, did life ever exist on Mars? Uh, and perhaps does it still? 
reflecting a time of T-minus one hour. Couldn't get the parachute open. That the waiting is the hardest part. Weather now delaying a daredevil's plan to jump from 120,000 feet up. Felix Baumgartner wants to become the first skydiver to break the sound barrier. Mission leaders and space officials hope this jump will show them if astronauts, space tourists, or high-altitude pilots can survive for any extended period outside a vehicle if there's a malfunction. He's famous all over the world for floating up to 38 kilometers to the edge of space and then jumping down. Felix Baumgartner is now in the record books, but what did that death-defying stunt actually feel like? I had tears in my eyes when I was coming back a couple times because you're sitting there and you, you thought about that moment so many times, you know, how it would feel and how it would look like. And this is way bigger than I anticipated.